Hello, welcome to Flix Water YouTube channel. If you're a handy homeowner embarking on a plumbing project, it's crucial to know how to measure the diameter of your pipes accurately. Surprisingly, the diameter of a pipe isn't always reflected in its name. For example, a 1-inch copper pipe has a slightly larger outside diameter. Don't worry though, I'm here to guide you on how to measure pipe size effectively, ensuring you don't end up with a subpar DIY job. Before we dive into the measurement process, let's cover some important information. You'll only need about half an hour for this simple project, and the tools required are a soft measuring tape, a caliper, and a calculator. Of course, don't forget to have your pipe handy. When measuring a pipe, the outside diameter corresponds to a nominal pipe size, which is the size sold in hardware stores. For instance, a half an inch copper pipe has an outside diameter of 5 eighths of an inch. If your pipe is smaller than 14 inches, you can use an online chart to convert your measurement into the pipe size. However, it's important to note that different types of pipes, such as plastic pipes, may have varying wall thicknesses and measurements. In such cases, you can usually find the size information directly on the pipe itself. To assist you further, I'll provide some general conversion charts for different pipe types. For copper pipes, you can refer to a copper pipe size conversion chart. Similarly, PVC, stainless steel, and brass pipes have their own conversion charts as well. Now let's move on to the practical steps of measuring pipe size. Step 1. Check the pipe for a number. Before taking any measurements, inspect the pipe for any labeling. Certain pipes, like PVC, CPVC, or PX pipes, often have the size information printed on the side. This simple step can save you a lot of effort. Step 2. Determine the type of pipe. Identify the type of pipe you're dealing with. There are three main types, male pipes, female pipes, and no-thread pipes. Male pipes have grooves on the outside to fit into female pipes, female pipes have grooves on the inside to grip male pipes, no-thread pipes have smooth ends with no grooves, keep in mind that measuring female pipes requires a slightly different approach. Step 3, measure your male or no-thread pipe, if your pipe is still connected to the plumbing and doesn't have an exposed edge, you have two options to measure a male or no-thread pipe, using a caliper or a soft measuring tape. The caliper method requires less calculation, using a caliper, wrap a caliper around the outside of the pipe to measure the outside diameter accurately. Record this measurement, using a soft measuring tape. Wrap a soft tape measure around the pipe's circumference on the outside. Then, divide the circumference measurement by pi, approximately 3.1415, to obtain the outside diameter. Step 4. Measure your female pipe. When measuring a female pipe, you need to determine the inside diameter, which refers to the width of the pipe hole, excluding the thickness of the pipe walls. To measure this, use a caliper to measure the distance between one inside edge of the pipe to the other inside edge. Step 5. Convert the diameter to the nominal size. To determine the nominal pipe size, the size available for purchase, you need to convert your diameter measurement. Remember, for male or no-thread pipes, use the outside diameter, whereas for female pipes, use the inside diameter. You can refer to the conversion charts mentioned earlier. If you have a different pipe material or remain unsure, search for a specific table online or consult the manufacturer. While most homeowners can successfully measure their own pipes, it can become confusing for those unfamiliar with plumbing or working with less common pipes. Various pipe sizing standards, such as copper tube sizing CTS, and the iron pipe standard IPS, have different size conversion charts. It's important to get accurate measurements because installing the wrong size pipe can lead to costly water damage repairs. If you're uncertain, consider consulting a salesperson at your local hardware store or reaching out to the pipe's manufacturer for guidance. Remember, taking the time to measure your pipes correctly ensures you'll have the right size and materials for your plumbing project. Good luck with your DIY endeavors and always prioritize accuracy and safety. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to our channel for next topics or click to see the next videos on the right.